Welcome back to Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is the USHA Four Wall Nationals and the World Championships. My name is Dave Vincent alongside David Fink for this match. As the men's open finals are now underway, it's Martin Mulkerns and Killian Carroll both coming in from Ireland. We are guaranteed a new first time men's open singles champion at the World Championships since 2003 when Paul Brady won his first. Both these guys, Dave, have devoted their lives to this moment. This is what they've pointed towards. Mark Mulkern's coming in as the 2018 All-Ireland 40 by 20 Men's Open champion. Killian Carroll coming in as the two-time defending USHA four wall national championship. That title will be on the line here today. Killian Carroll also with 10 race for eight titles. He's won nine of the last 11 race stops he's entered. He's really won everything that he's entered over the last two years. And the only thing missing from Killian's resume is this world championship. For Malt Mark Hearns, Dave, this is his second USHA four wall national final. You remember in 2013 in Iowa, he made the finals taking down Dermot Nash and Charlie Shanks before losing to Paul Brady. Well, these two are and have been warming up for quite some time. They're more than ready. Our referee is gonna be David Steinberg, and the crowd here is just now starting to roll in. You can see there's some open seats here, but that's not indicative of the viewing. There's viewing up top, down low, around the corners, these openings as well, Men's and the fans are just clogging the passageways as we hear the announcement from David Serving Steinberg. From Boston, Massachusetts, Killian Carroll. Hands go together there for Killian. From County Galway, Republic of Ireland, Martin McKearns. Malt McKearns ran into his mom on the way to the court today, and she said that he is more than ready. I asked if Let's he was play nervous. Ball. She said, I hope he is just a little bit, but not too much. Zero, zero. Mom seems to be quite educated about how sports and sports figures are. She has a lot of them in the family. Martin gets that first serve back, and now they're into the rally. Coming in. First air from Killian, and that's a high percentage shot in my opinion. Zero, zero. Even though he's fading away from 35 feet. Point. A lot of emotion from Martin early, and that was a phenomenal left hand bounce pass cross court zero, from Martin. One, zero. I don't see many people in the sport that can get that shot. Left foot. I don't like it. Both agree. Second serve. I know you might not like it, but one way to stop it is not to put your left foot over the short, the football line. Point. Martin. My question is, how can you see that from that angle where the referee is standing? But You're looking right judges, over his shoulder. Both line judges agreed, and they see it well, from their in angle. That, in that case. So then you, you agree then. Hot start here for Martin. Remember yesterday it was Killian who showed 8-0 before he even served in that first game against Robbie McCarthy. And Killian not hitting the ball crisp at all right now. Martin making him pay. Point. And that's the thing, Dave. You play against these world-class superstars. If you're not hitting the ball crisp and flush, they'll make you pay for every single miss hit. 3-0. Point. Killian shaking his head there, Dave. Not happy with this start. 4-0. I'm sure having a little deja vu from yesterday's start. And Killian, Killian, Dave, gets a little bit lucky there. That was not a great shot. That ball clips the side wall and just dies. A lot of players, Dave, seem to start strong and then fade in the middle. Killian starts Six slow and just seems to get better and stronger as the match wears on. Wow. Coming in. Wow. Incredible shot. Four zero. Coming in. 
Yeah. I think the key points before this started, people were talking about off the court, was that Martin Mulkerns needed to be really aggressive in order to get points off of Killian. This is crushing the ball right now, Martin is. Crushing it. I saw Martina McMahon the other night. She said he's hitting the ball, Martin that is, with venom, with both hands. Point. Just, it's incredible. <laughs> One inch high, 90 miles per hour. Five zero. And he's already hit eight of those. Point. Now Martin leads 6 0. Martin led Killian 12 0 at the Nationals in 2014. Dave and lost that game 21 13. 6 0. Point. Seven zero. Point. And now it is deja vu, Dave. Eight zero. Killian trails. Unlike yesterday, Eight he has zero. served, but he has not scored. Ball. Second serve. Coming in. Martin with a short Z serve there. Killian didn't take advantage, but he does win the rally on the sixth shot. Zero eight. Oh. We're not seeing a lot of long rallies here like we did yesterday, at least thus far, between Killian Second and Robbie. Serve. Martin is taking charge. the power game, the ceiling game, and his serve. But Killian Carroll's like Muhammad yeah. Ali. He just right. allows these guys to go blow yeah. themselves out so he can later wear them down. I'm not writing off Killian at all. So this is the rope-a-dope. It is. Okay. Killian looks yeah. stiff right now, even though that's a great shot. But I believe later, when he opens up, you're going to see something different. Really? Okay. Well, Killian looked very relaxed, just five minutes before going onto the court, taking pictures, smiling, second serve. having conversations. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. It just surprised me. Point. First air for Martin. One eight. Coming Huge in. reverse there. Look at Martin break over the top here, Dave. Eight, one. That just tailed away from Flash. Point. That's the second rally Martin's won, dropping a ceiling shot into the bucket in the back left corner, or what's known as the Bermuda Triangle Nine, one. here at the University of Minnesota. I thought they called it no man's land, but I guess that's when we do the event in Wyoming. Each place has their own little verbiage for that back wall Second serve. corner hole. Set up. Boy, he's just, just cranking that ball. Boy. I mean, Dave, were you expecting this today? No. Martin hit that Z serve so hard that Killing was chasing it into the right side wall. Have you ever seen a pro player have to do that? No. Dave, our normally, normally reliable radar gun not working, but you'd have to think these Martin Mulkern shots right in the 88 to 90 mile per hour range. It's in the 
the range between 88 Point. and Desi Keegan, somewhere mm. between okay. two those two numbers. A little reverse. Point. And Killing does that better than anybody, Dave. Taking something off that inside out kill with his right hand, he feathers it down the right wall. Sets up that right hand kill Time shot with a Martin. beautiful left that he drives hard right at Martin's feet. Martin pops it up. Killing using his left very well today. I think better today than he did yesterday in the entire match against Robbie. That was the one area where he did not look like Killing Carroll hitting the ball sidearm with his left. It seems like he fixed that overnight, went to work on that. But now Killian, after looking, I would hate to say it, but overmatched. For those first nine points, he's just right back in this game. It just seems like nothing phases him. When right. there's an avalanche coming, he just says, well, I'll just put on my skis and just ski down this. You okay. know, just so confident. Yeah. I don't see him rushing shots like other players do or feeling this sense of desperation that right. he's going to have to go for kill shots yeah. that he's missing. Instead, he just plays his game. Right. So mentally tough. It's not just about, Dave, not giving up. It's about being able to withstand, like you said, the avalanche and having enough trust in your own abilities to know that my time's going to come. Yeah, he looked really stiff to start off. Uh -huh. uh, his shots, even though the ones that he was executing seemed like he wasn't Do hitting the crisp. Four, ten. The score is four serves ten here in game number one. It's best two out of three to 21, and the breakers to 11. And Killian tries to drop it in the bucket in that back left corner, but just clips the left wall and Martin with another flat rollout. 10-4. Dave, this looks very similar to what Martin did to Charlie Shanks and winning that All-Ireland Championship in Point. April. Just blew Charlie Shanks Eleven off four. the court. 11 serves four. Wow. Killian Point. misplayed that, Dave. Thought he'd have a chance at that off the back wall. Well, Martin put a little slight reverse on this. That ball cutting back left to right. Point. It was just enough that that ball double bounced the back wall, and he almost did it again, but that one was short. Second serve. Oh. Dave, that is the fifth flat rollout we've seen in this match. I think you're going to see a lot more of that from Killian when he loosens up. 4 12. And he's just about there now. 4 to 12. Because, you know, Point. he hadn't located his serve, and this might be the very first time that he's actually located it here. 5-12. See another setup right down the middle. Point. He just can't give those to Killy. Two straight points plus a side out. 6-12. Now he's got the system working. Three Point. in a row now. And it all starts with the serve for Killing. He starts getting those setups in the front court and all of a sudden seizes the momentum of the match. That's what he did against Nash, Dave, you remember? He started doing it to Robbie second yesterday in the second half of that second game. Boy. You can just see a difference here in Killian. Another great Point. shot. Moving his feet at the last second, poking that down the right wall. I call that the veteran wrinkle. Dave Killian's only 24, but he's already figured this shot out. Look how he adjusts right there at the last Point. second. Inside Point. out and just slices it down that I right call wall. A left foot. I know Killian does not like this. One agree, one disagree. 
Killian shaking his head, which is just a full-blown out argument. I'm shaking my head. <laughs> from Killian. I'm ready to throw my headsets off. Point. But Killian well, does it the right overcomes way. Overcomes it. Yeah. Nine twelve. Nine serves twelve. He started the run at four to twelve. Down nine to zero. Great shot there. Martin dug out though from Killy. He's gonna try to get his paw on this one. Does. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. And then Martin. Feeling the pressure from Killian Carroll, point. digs that one right in the ground, and another point for Killian, who I'd say earned that. But I just can't believe this get right here. That ball was hit so hard, slow motion doesn't do it any 12. justice. 10 serves 12. But Killian lives by the old adage, Dave, and this should be another point, and it's not. Hit a ball. Tough call. Martin looking around after that, but I mean, frankly, Killian had to go in and try hard to get yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. I just hate to see players running into each other like that, and there was no way to avoid it. But if he didn't, then no, he's right. not going to get the There's call. There's just no way to avoid that contact there. Had to make the move. 10-12. Unbelievable. If he makes it, he does. This is just amazing. <laughs> he's like a math scientist. And a mad scientist together. Killian, how does he get those I don't two know. shots back? I don't, I don't. And then that second one was just as difficult. 12 10. We're at 12 to 10 here. Finally, Martin gets back into the server's box. And Killian Dave Point. will be very upset to lose that rally. Two very easy setups. Does not hit either of them well enough and loses the rally. You don't see Killian lose rallies like that very often. 13 10. 13 serves 10. Game number one. And another error there from Martin. <laughs> Not really known for that jump shot is Martin. And now it's going to be a timeout, Killian, timeout for Killian. Seconds. Yeah, that's a timeout for Killian, but we're going to take a time to go talk to Kara Mack, who is courtside right now. Kara? Ryan, I don't know if I can snag you really quick here. I know that you're talking to Martin, but taking us through this one, he's taking the lead. And now, you know, has this timeout that Killian has called. Take us through what's probably going through his mind. Oh, yeah, well, he's just trying to settle down the game now. He had a good start, you know. There's always going to be a battle. So it's a matter of just of controlling what's going on. Yeah. So we'll see what will happen, you know. What do you see him doing right that you're really proud of right now? Oh, he's shooting well. He's playing well. He's serving well. He's keeping in the game, you know. He's doing good. I'm going to have a fast word with him, right? Before Absolutely. I will let you do that. Thank you so much. I want to just quickly introduce you to Martin's mom here who said she is not going to talk to me, but it's got to be fun to be here and celebrating this as well. Oh, it's fantastic to be here. This is everyone's dream is to be in the final, you know. So, yeah, we're going for it. We'll see how it goes. Well, great to see you and meet you. Thank you. Back to you guys. Yeah, thank you very much, Kara, who's there with the family members of our close buddy, Martin Mulkerns. I had just the greatest time walking across the street from the hotel with Martin's uh, mom there. And I, she said, you don't know who I am, but I, I want to thank you for the live broadcast. My son is Martin Mulkerns. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I want to thank you for being a great right. parent. Yes. I mean, first thing out of my mouth. She said, you know, kind of cocked her head, and I said, he must have great parents. I've been she thinking this for years. He's such a gentleman. She, of course, thanked us and said, you've done a lot for our son, and he's so excited to be on the air and also to be doing this this finals. And then we just talked about his match leading up to the, to the show court here today. Just a wonderful young man in every way. But that wonderful Point. young man just hit a terrible right-hand kill attempt in that right corner. That ball hung up for a very easy setup for killing. 11 to 13. 11 to 13 here in game one.
Martin Dave has Coming an in. excellent ceiling game. He puts those ceiling shots in the perfect spot. And even when he has to leave his feet, he still is able to put that ball in a good spot up to the ceiling. I noticed that yesterday in his doubles, Dave. 11. I believe Killian would have got that ball if Martin hit the right side wall first. Instead, he hit the front wall. And it slid down that wall, and it Coming fooled in. Killian just a little bit. Killian shaking his head as he walked back in. He has to stay away from a footfall 11, here. 13. Martin Point. getting offensive opportunities on his first serve, first strike shot 70% of the time, and he's not converting, particularly in the second half of this first game. Oh, that's a great shot. I'm not sure if that was meant to be exactly hit right I think there. it was straight down the left, but he'll he'll take it. That ball clips the corner. You like this upright serve here from Martin? No. Man, that power. Screen. Incredible point. rally there. Unfortunately, it ends with Killian's air, but that's an amazing point from both guys. Fourteen, twelve. Fourteen serves twelve. Game one. And they point. Fifteen to twelve. Don't discount the possibility of Killian getting tired here. Martin is pushing him all over the 15, court 12. with a lot of power. Gee, are you kidding me? That's what, the fourth time, fifth time we've seen that? that to me, a flat time. roll is like a hole in one. I mean, the chance of seeing it, it's almost impossible to hit those shots. Watch this replay here. Incredible. Looking at to put his signature in that right corner, and he does it again on the very next one for a point. And that's a hard shot to hit from the left side of the court into the right corner. It takes a lot of strength and perfect technique to put that ball into the right corner. The shoulder strength, right? Yeah, hard shot to hit. Work on your deltoids. Now Martin hits a pretty good defensive shot there. He's off balance. He clips that right side wall for a nice three wall shot and Killian, no problem. Right here, you see it, perfect technique and that's a pass shot just out of Martin's reach. And he's got a huge reach, by the way. Very lanky. Oh no. And a timeout there from Martin Mulkerns. We're going to go back to the gallery where Kara Mack is courtside. Kara. Her. I'm here with Ashley Kerr, Killian's girlfriend. You see here the timeout called. You know that Killian's starting to get on that roll that he gets on. Talk about what's probably going through his head. Uh, probably just trying to stay focused, um, play the game. He doesn't he tries not to think about too much else other than that. So you know, just have to be, take each play as it comes. You see Martin kind of take the lead here in the game one something that sometimes Killian falls back on essentially right at the beginning of that game. What's his strategy always coming in? Does he feel comfortable in that happening? Martin's a strong player. Killian knew this was the way Martin was going to come out. He's been shooting really well the entire week and I think even in the months leading up to this. Um, so I think Killian knew if he could weather the first onset that he'd still, if he could stick with him for a while, he'd have a good chance of making a comeback. Um, but I think this is probably exactly what Killian expected. So it's, I'm sure it's not a surprise to him. Yeah, as, as expected, you know probably what Killian's strategy was coming in after playing Martin so many times as well. Do you think he's pulling off what he intended to? Uh, I think he's sore, so that plays a role. Um, there's only so much you can do. Martin hits the ball really hard too. Um, it's tough to weather that power. Um, but I think if you can stay with him and keep, just keep moving, then it should be all right, hopefully. So. Thank you so much. You. Yeah, back to you guys. Yep, thank you very much, Kara. Dave, why doesn't Ashling announce the matches? What are we doing here? <laughs> I, I think there's, um, yeah, there's a few thousand people wondering that same thing. I don't, I don't even I know understand it now. 15, 15. To say that there's a few thousand, that's actually an overstatement. <laughs> yeah. There's about five people. Wow. That was Point. a strike right there from Killian and Carroll. Now, they, 16 to 15. This is the first lead Unreal. from Killian and Carroll. Out. Both agree. Point. And it doesn't get overturned. 16, 15. Point. Make that 17 to 15, and just like that, Martin's 17, been 15. dominating, and yet he finds himself down. 
Martin's now been outscored 17 to six since starting this match with a 9-0 lead. And that's a terrible miss hit from Martin. And right to his favorite corner, Killian Carroll goes and gets another point now, three in a row after tying it at 15. 18-15. Point. David, it's like you said, this is Muhammad Ali and Zaire against Foreman. He did exactly what you said was happening. Well, the bigger one was saying that I thought the score line would be 21-15, 21-7. <laughs> yeah. That might even be bigger than the Muhammad Ali reference, but this is Killian, Second though. Serve. You might get in the best shape of your life, but he's so aggressive and he's executing. Oh, my. Coming in. With an exception of while I'm saying it. Wow. When I say that he's executing, it's absolutely the opposite. 15-19. That was a big miss, Dave. That would have set up game point. And that would have kept your prediction just in a perfect spot. Nice. Two bounces, though, Thank and there's a point, point for Martin Mulkerns. And Dave, does it seem like Martin's shots don't have the same sting on them right now that they did to start this match? Yeah, they... Yeah, right. I mean, they, he not was between 88 and Desi Keegan. Now I think he's between 70 and 88. 16, yeah. 19. He's like Rob Pierce and, yeah. and 88. Mm Just don't do a fist bump with Rob Pierce. That's more like George Foreman <laughs> and that punching machine at the local circus. Nice dig right there. From Killen, he goes after it again. Look at these. This is the best rally of the tournament so far. Wow. <laughs> the crowd even took a big gasp. Did you hear that from the I crowd? Killian. Killian put everything he had into that last shot, Dave. Led with the elbow, hit a huge natural that jumps away from Martin right here. And Martin's legs were heavy after that 37-shot rally. It was unbelievable. Let's go to Kara Mack, who's courtside right now. Once again, Kara. Yeah, I'm courtside here with Killian's brother, Tag, who's also a handball player, been playing in the Worlds here as well. But watching his brother, what do you see going on? I see an exciting game going for our so far anyway. I mean, they're both very fast, but both get to a lot of balls, so it's an enjoyable game anyway. I'll be good friends with Martin as well, so, you know, it's a good game to see. And this is something that we've seen. We saw them play in the 17 and unders in the world back in yeah. 2009, 2012. They've hit each other up again, and, and both, you know, Martin took the 2009, Killian took the 2012. How do you see this one playing out? I'm not sure. It's kind of kind of reminds me of the 2012 game. Martin went up a lot. We think it was up like 16-4, and Kitty came back and won the first game. So maybe, I can't really call it now, but uh, it looks like Kitty's on top at the moment. So he might take the first game, but you never know what could happen. Like, Martin's such a powerful player. You never know what could happen. Have you seen their strategies maybe switch or go to different strategies playing each other throughout the years? And what do you see now as far as that being? I think their strategies stay, stayed the same, really. They both like to shoot a lot. I guess Kitty's got more aggressive, really. He used to kind of pass a lot more. But Martin's been the same. Like I think off the back wall on the right, he's really strong. So I avoid that as much as I can because he's just really strong player and a really good pass at that right, off the back wall. Thank you so no much. Problem, my pleasure. Back to you guys. Yep. Thank you very much. Kara, that was tag who is Killy's brother. Resuming play, 19 to 16 in game one, going to 21. Point. And there is a flat kill shot again from Killian Carroll. Now game point at 20. Twenty sixteen. Game. Dave, as we wrap this first game up and just kind of review, Carroll, could we have just Five played minutes. Robbie McCarthy and Killian from yesterday and just called it, well, that's the first game? Is it the exact same thing? Well, it was similar, but remember, Robbie won that first game, 
Martin took the 9-0 lead and just was not able to sustain it. It seemed like he lost a little juice on his shots, and then he made a couple of errors, and Killian came in and, and just did what he does. I think it took a long time for Killian to get warmed up today. And once he did, he was just unbelievable. That game was only 28 minutes. It felt like it was longer. There were so many great rallies, but Killian did start slow. But who wouldn't have started slow against that onslaught? I mean, Martin was hitting the ball so hard. I don't know that there was anything anyone could have done except hope that he stopped doing it, which right. in a way he did. 9-0 to zero to start off the game yeah. was Martin Mulkerns. It eventually, it went to 12-3, to 12-4. to four. Killy comes back and ties it at 13. Is that about right? That 15, was that the first time we saw it? I yeah, I think it was 15. Yeah, 15. Tied it at 15, and then his first lead was 16 to 15. It went 17 to 15 before Martin Mulkern scored again, and then after that, it was all Killy. The only chance Martin had in that second half of the game was Killian made that very easy error at 19 15 that would have given him 20. Martin gets back in. That was his moment to make something happen. He only scored one. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Killian lives by that adage, give him a chance to screw it up. Just keep getting that ball back, and then when he gets a setup, of course, he puts away. But Killian made some gets that were just outrageous. The one that I can think of here, my, it's, people wouldn't think it's the best get of all time, but Martin hit one of the hardest balls you're ever right. going to see. He had a little bit of a wrinkle yeah. on it, which was going to even make it harder for Killian to get to it. He adjusts, is somehow able right. to get a hand on it, eventually wins that rally when Martin hits the ball into the ground, and right. you can just say right at that moment, yes. I'm circling the scorecard. Yeah. And you did circle it. I saw you. But, you know, the highlight reel gets are when you're diving, flying forward to pick up those kills, but these gets that Killian's making off Martin pass shots that are going straight down the walls, particularly the right-hand passes down the walls, those are hit so hard, and Killian somehow has the reflexes and control and speed to get there and right. keep them going. Dave, our good friend Abraham Montilla watching from Tucson saying that, you know, when Martin is stepping in, hitting the ball sidearm, there's not much Killian's able to do. But when you see Killian ripping more sidearm shots during the rallies, that's when he's taken over the match. And he did it yesterday and today. Yeah, you can't get into that, let's go ahead and play this little paddle game. I'm going to paddle you down the left wall. I'm going to paddle you down the right wall. That doesn't work. No. You're going to have to go in there and step in like yeah. Martin did early on and really push this. Let's go to see if... if Kara has anybody important here in the gallery and if not we'll just talk to Kara because you're important too. <laughs> well thanks and I do have someone who I'm chatting with here in the gallery with between these games. I'm with Killian's father and we were just kind of laughing about how Killian's state of mind with handball how you know he thinks and everything as well. What do you think though is going through his mind taking this game one after that comeback? Um, I think he's playing much better today. Um, he's killing the ball much looser and uh, it's good to see Killian playing like that. And I wish he stopped giving me heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't seen him play in three years. So coming here now and seeing him, I know you watch our broadcast, which thank you for that all the time. I mean, you're probably in the middle of the night watching them, yeah. seeing him pull off these wins. But what is it like to watch him in person? What are you witnessing that you see him so talented at? Uh, I just think his feet are magic. And his ability to, to get any ball. And his mental attitude, never give up. You know, if anyone you wanted to step up to the plate, Killian would step up to the plate. And that's what I'd be so proud of. Yeah. And that's him today. Martin is really shooting at him and really making those dives happen, trying to take control of it all. And you see, see Killian get those shots. It's pretty incredible. Oh, it's pretty incredible. To watch it live in here now, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm just so proud of him. So knowing Killian, what do you think is going through his mind to try to pull off this in two games? Um, oh, he'll go for it. He's warmed up now. And he knows how, Mar how dangerous Martin is too as well. They've always grown up together playing each other. And uh, they have great respect for each other. I watched him playing doubles yesterday as well. And I mean, do you know, Martin is such a, a gentleman as well in handball. He really is. So I just hope for the best for Killian. Not Martin today, but and I wish him the best in the doubles after. What do you think Killian sees as most dangerous about Martin? Um, if Martin is allowed to set and pull the trigger. He has to move Martin, in my opinion. Yeah. Do you see him doing that and doing that well? Yes. He's attacking the ball, so Martin hasn't time to set. That's what I'm seeing anyway. No, maybe that's just me, but I think... 
That's what I'm saying. Hey, Kara? As you've seen them play throughout the years, when they were very young as juniors, what are you witnessing now that's different than what you witnessed when they were younger? Or do you see the chemistry as the same on the court? Um, I would say that watching both of them, I mean, Martin won the 17s, Killian won the 19s, juniors, worlds. It's just absolutely fantastic the way they have evolved into senior handball. You know, and it's a pleasure to watch both gentlemen evolve. And Martin is a, a thorough gentleman, and I wish him all the best. Does he get his quickness from you, Killian? Are you a big diver? Get up, get down. Um, no, no, I can't claim that here, unfortunately. No. <laughs> thank you so much. Such okay. a great pleasure meeting you this weekend and everything. Thanks, Kara. Thank you. Back to you guys. Yep. Thank you, Kara. I do appreciate that. I was interested to find out, Dave, halfway through that, if Mr. Mr. Carroll could give us what Martin Mulkerns has to do to beat his mm. son. Zero, zero. Wanted to hear it from that angle. This is the one that gets you thrown out of the building angle. <laughs> <laughs> well, Martin will be listening about 30 minutes after this match is over, and he'll use that. Mr. Carroll knows that. Well, I guess he can't do everything. Kill him. I almost hit him twice. Our good buddy Lou Barberini says that Killian Carroll's like sea biscuit, that he has to be down in order to oh. come back to win. Interesting. Interesting. I think it's when Killian Carroll is leading early, you might as well just forfeit. Yeah. Because if he has that big lead, you know there's that big push he's going to put. Right. That means zero is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Martin's off to a good start here. You know, Dave, it just doesn't matter. Hmm. Not with Killian. I will not count Martin out here. I'm not counting him out. I'm just saying it doesn't matter. It, whether Boy. you have a big lead to start off a match, we've seen it time and time again. It doesn't really matter. Three zero. Martin really able to stand straight up oh. when he hits these kills. Footfall Dave. called there. Like a John Bike, you would say. How Martin's able to stand straight up. John Bike, a former world champion. Second serve. Martin, a Point. very imposing physical presence. I mean, you feel it, Dave. Strength when you're standing next to Martin. 4 0. Martin should have Coming in. flipped that one back to the wall. Should have won that rally twice, but does have a nice Zero four. early lead here. Coming nice, in. Sh nice shot right there. For Martin Mulkerns, we saw that early in game number one many times. Four zero. Four serve zero in game two after Martin loses the first one 16 to 21. This is the men's finals of the World Championships and the USHA Four Wall Nationals 2018 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Martin a little flat-footed there, Dave. He just expected that to pop up for him, but have to be aware that when those balls get in the corners, that can happen. Zero four. Dave Killian has played Second serve. now six very hard games in the last 24 hours.
Martin playing a great point there. Come but they've killing Carroll three grueling games against Robbie McCarthy yesterday. Two 21-20 doubles games yesterday. Now a very, very hard first Four game zero. against Martin. And I know Killian is incredibly fit, Dave, but that does take a toll. Absolutely does. And don't forget, Point. he also had to go through Dermot Nash the day before, Stephen Cooney the day before that. All hard matches. 5-0. Combine that with the pressure he's got of trying to win his first world title, and I know Martin does as well. Coming in. Killian lucky there not to be down 6-0. 0-5. Short. Second serve. Both guys making a number of errors here early in this second game. Killing really has not found his groove at all in this second game. He's only earning side outs with Mulkern's errors. Killian with his first point on a service winner. Great serve to the left. One five. Short. Second serve. hitting the ball so hard, Dave, that the ball is not even bouncing twice before it gets past Killian, and Killian can't get his hand on it. 6-1. Score here is 6-1. to one. Oh. Gee, every time Martin gets one of these great serves, it's taken away on a footfall. Second serve. Dave, I believe that's why we saw so many missed short calls yesterday because the referee is so focused on the feet that you cannot focus on the feet and a 100 mile per hour serve. One You're six. not going to see that serve whether it's over the line or not. Yeah, both are happening about the same time. Right. Look at that, that perfect shot from Killian Carroll. That right corner kill is just amazing. 2-6. Two serve six here in game number two. That ball was called short by the referee. Second serve. There's the Point. veteran wrinkle taking something off of that right corner, becoming Killian's favorite shot. Three six. Replay. Killing does not do much to get out of the way there, Dave. 3-6. Not a good shot. Point. And there's the spoiler, Dave. Beautiful shot from Killing. Dave, if that was Martin, I'd think about playing the ceiling. He's had a lot of success playing those ceiling Point shots in, in the left corner. He's got a great ceiling game.
there it is, Dave. He's Coming scored in. a number of points on that shot. That seems to be the only, like, kryptonite. But he's but Martin's good at that shot. Six and four. even when Killian's not missing back there, he's giving Martin good opportunities. Short. That might be appealed. Haven't seen much of that. Second serve. Appealing much here. Second serve. Point. Slowing the game down mm -hmm. here is Martin. 7-4. Do you like this position on the court over here for Martin? This overhand. Yeah, I do like this change up that Martin's employing here. For Martin, that is. Coming in. Killian thought about a dive there, Dave, and it was worked out better that he stayed on his feet. Four seven. And just with all of this kind of dominating right. stuff from Martin, he's only yeah. four point three points away is Killian. Second serve. No screen. Coming in. Seventh ball that Killian has missed back in that Bermuda Triangle. And that one didn't even really get into the radius of the triangle. Point. And there's the first shot I've seen Killian try and force in this match. Eight, four. Man, that's amazing right there. Throws his whole body into it and has such great control of the final Four, eight. placement of this ball right here. Look at that replay. It's perfect. Point. And he does it again. I know you missed it because we're showing the replay, yeah. but it was the exact same thing. Mm. Just a little bit closer to the front wall. Five, eight. Killing with another feather kill down the right. Five oh. serves, eight. That was a laser of a serve there called short. Second serve. I predict a footfall coming up. Not seen Killian have a lot of success on his second serve, except for after a footfall call, he hit an ace into the left crack. Other than that, his second serves have been pretty ordinary by his standards. Party ball there. Killian takes it back three wall. Timeout, Killian, at your first 60 seconds. Killian taking a timeout. We're not going to take one. Instead, we're going to go to Kara Mack, who's courtside. Courtside here with Martin's uncle, Joel. Seeing this here, seeing Killian call that timeout, really some great rallies going on. Yeah, it's a fantastic game. It's very close. There's very little between them. You know, as it, goes, as it is now, it's anybody's game, really. You see Martin kind of forcing some errors of Killian's. What are you seeing him doing well? What's impressed you? Yeah, he had some great kills early on there, you know, and he's, he's actually running Killian around the court a lot, you know, and uh, I think he's a great pressure game, and he keeps it going, he's a great chance. What do you see as him needing to do to pull us off to win this game too? What does he to do? He has to kill five or six good ones in a row. You know, I, I, like the, the uh, pressure's on him now, I think, at this stage, you know, but I think he'll do it. We have great confidence in him. Are you a handball player yourself? I uh, know. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, but a supporter. Yeah. So enjoy coming over and watching him take on this world. Ah, yeah. We've watched him since we were a kid. We've traveled everywhere with him. You know, so it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Kara. It's so important that family having him there, traveling all the way over from Ireland to watch, and not even a handball player himself. Very cool. Dave, would you say that this matchup between these two is very similar to that heavyweight match that's going to be on ESPN later on this afternoon, this Brian evening? Brian Jennings? Come on. I'm just asking. Brian Jennings isn't even a top 30 heavyweight. Okay. 
So no, these guys. I'm just talking about the matchup, the the, the, the styles. If you AJ and Wilder ever fought each other, then yes. No, you're comparing records. I'm talking about styles. Hmm. Well, no. Okay. No, Brian Jennings is a grinder. Not a lot of power. Eight six. That's what I wanted. I wasn't looking for that other stuff. Okay. Point. Very easy shot for Killian. That's the one he wants. Nine to six here in game number two. Killian Carroll wins the first one, 21 to 16. He was trailing nine, zero to nine in game number one to make a comeback where he tied it at 15 and then eventually went up 16 to 15 before winning. Just timing the ball so well with his left hand. I'd say hitting the ball just as hard with his left as he is with his right. Martin's going to ask for a towel here. Martin hit a couple of lasers in that rally with his left and finished it with a beautiful left hand kill. I'm so impressed, Dave, with the way Martin's taking the ball off the back wall with his left and just ripping it. There's no hesitation whatsoever. And Dave, you know, with your off hand, it's hard to just let it loose off the back wall, particularly from the back court. But Martin is not showing any signs of caution with that left. Well, what I'm seeing here is that I, it, it, right after that timeout was called, I'm talking milliseconds afterwards, looking at Killian, he looked like he's just completely wore out. Yeah. And you remember in Las Vegas when Killy lost to <laughs> Sean Lenny. Yes. And you say, what happened? He said, I just played too much handball. I'm just... It's been too much, yeah. and I'm burned out. My body is, is not recovering as quick as it used to, and that's what happens if you play too much. And really, this whole week has been a lot Ten of handball, a lot of long handball matches. Ten to six here. And Martin just looks like the fresher of the two at the moment. Yes. But I, I mentioned early in this match, Dave, do not discount the possibility of Killian getting tired. I remember that. And that's not a knock on his conditioning. That right there is amazing. You're right. Usually when you're tired, you don't make shots like that. 11-6. Martin's got the momentum right now. He's feeling it. He's hitting the ball better than Killian off the back wall. Coming of in. course, Killian responds with a one-inch high kill shot. Revolving door. 6-11. Six, Six serves 11. Oh. And there's a short ball. Second serve. Broken ball. About time. That's the first one on the live broadcast. And it still will be second serve. And still somebody will complain about it. They've now spent 45 minutes determining where the trophy presentation is going to be. And they've now come to the conclusion that it's going to be in the spot that was suggested in the first three seconds. Yeah. But they did go through all their options. Well, they had 45, 45 minutes to figure it out. Yeah. And he was doing play. tons Six of interrupting the live broadcast oh, oh, oh. just to double and triple and quadruple check. Before the serve, so it's second serve. The ball was not legally in play when it broke. So second serve. Our level five referee knows what's going on. But Dave, that was the same second serve he hit with the broken ball. But well, I'll get to that after Martin hits this kill shot, Point. misses it. If the referee had not said second serve and Killian served a short, it still would have been a double fault. And we saw that come up on tour earlier this season. Steve Cooney versus Sean Lenny, Six New York. Vic Perez. Steve Cooney was the ref. Sean Lenny Seven versus Vic Perez, yes. right. The referee does not have to say second serve. It's just a courtesy. Of course, you knew that, Dave. I did. Yeah. I would say 100% of the people out there didn't, well, and that's a nice paddle yeah. kill <laughs> from Martin Mulkern. So I didn't know it until I read right. it in the rule book back in March. Look at that replay. Watch what Martin does here this on this. This is a great shot for Martin. Eight, shot. 11, yeah. seven. Oh, 
Man, are you kidding me? Terrible Have you noticed fly that kill there from Martin? When Killian makes these incredible gets like that, even if he's in a bad position, he seems to, the majority Seven of the time, win the rally. Somehow that works into the psyche of his opponent. Well, I think Martin, Point. in this case, is rushing those next shots. After Killian makes a great shot, he feels like, you know, I need to probably rush he, my next he shot because he's getting everything. I think sitting down on the shot and expecting Killian to make these amazing gets. Coming in. Almost going into each rally with the mindset that I have to hit four balls one inch high to win the rally. Right. And if it's less than that, it's a bonus. Are they call him towel timeout or is this a regular one? Looks like regular. Let's go to Kara who has one of our closest friends, Katrina. <laughs> Got number one women's player Katrina Casey with me watching this one, taking us through it. What do you see going on here in the second? Um, I guess it's kind of similar to game one, isn't it? Obviously, Martin's lead wasn't quite so big, but I see he went up 5-0 there at least. Like um, Killian sometimes can be a bit of a slow starter, as we saw in the first game, but you kind of would expect him to come in hot then off you know, his momentum from game one. But like Martin's such a good player as well and mentally strong, so he wasn't going to be phased by being reeled back in like that. So you kind of have to feel if Killian can keep the lead like keep close now for the next few points that he can pull away and uh, hopefully we won't see a tiebreaker because it's too stressful to watch <laughs> do you think that's going through Killian's head as well of, okay I just need to stay in this stay close and I know I can pull this off in the end or do you think that he ultimately just wants to break away break loose and go for it well I think like Killian just never believes the game is over like even if he was down 20 to zero which would never really happen to him but like you know what I mean like the game is never really over he always fully believes like that he can pull it back and we saw well clearly they both do because we saw them play doubles yesterday and they were down 19 to 11 against the Cordova brothers who are a brilliant doubles team as well and they came back and won a 21 20 it was a, an insane game like the crowd were loving it so look it's never over but um, it's a really good battle here you see Martin pulling off some ceiling shots, some things that are working on Killian, forcing some errors. What do you think he's thinking right now, what he needs to do, what he might be focusing on? Yeah, I actually did notice that Martin's playing the ceiling really well because, um, like, the ceiling is a bigger part of the game in Ireland, I think, because the courts tend to be a bit slower. It's warmer over here. The ball travels quicker, but he's really adapted well. Like, he's not overhitting them at all, and they're knocking off the back wall. So it's very um, strategic by him and, you know, good defensive play. Um, but like, like Martin's sh most dangerous shot is really off the back wall. Like he just hits it like a bullet, and um, like he's converting he his chance as well. So who knows how it's gonna go? So there's Martin's most dangerous shot. What do you consider Killian's? I think Killian's most dangerous is probably his fly kill um, with his right hand up the front there. He really gets into position well and sets up well for it and gets nice and low. But really, anything breaking off the right side wall, he's very clinical with. I see the two guys taking the courts. Thank you so much. And with that, we'll toss it back to you guys. Thank you very much as well. Nah. As now we, we had filled out our new broadcast team, Dave, Dave Katrina Dave, and Ashlyn play. Kerr, 11, the eight. two best. Yeah, I mean, Katrina Casey-like. <laughs> Martin comes back in after the timeout. It's a good amount of time there, two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, changing timeout. gloves, changing shirts, everything was changed there, which I'm okay with because yesterday it got really slick inside the court so this mm. might just be some prevented maintenance fun fact dave katrina casey and killian carroll yeah. best friends they learned how to play handball together yeah, right at the in same county court, court. Yeah. yeah i went to that exact court that they played on as mm. well when i was hanging out with tony Whoa. healy and jeff kastner i normally don't <laughs> bring up jeff kastner's name when you're talking about tony healy but it happened Did he get it? Yeah. Yes. I think that timeout is helping Killian. And there's some contact there. I would think that it helps Killian more than it would help Martin. Because he seemed to be down for the count for a few minutes there with his energy. Eight serves 12 in game number two. Killian trailing for the world championship here.
point. And Martin with a rare air off the back wall. Like Katrina said, he's been hitting bullets off the back wall. That one was uh, like a water balloon. Like he, got a hit. like he got a bruise on his hand. Point. He's flexing it after that hit. You know, that can happen right in the middle of a match. Just one kind of strangely hit shot. Not saying it did. 10, 12. 10 serves 12. How does he get that back? I don't know. It's unreal. And Dave, was it the Martin. right hand that he was flexing? Yeah. Martin? Because since you mentioned that, he's not hit a flush shot with his right. And it looked like he tried to take something off of those last two shots 11, with his right. 12. And Point. Katrina was clairvoyant, Dave, in that Together she said, Killian's best shot, his fly kill with his right, he executes it there. Perfect shot. You hear the applause from the crowd for the tie score at 12. 12 12. Last game, Killian came back and tied at 15. This time it's 12. What a shot. Point. To me, Dave, the best shot that Killian's hit in this entire tournament. Left hand cross court with a big natural. Time hops out, away Martin. from Martin. Martin wisely calls a timeout. Katrina said, Dave, that you know Martin's best shot is his back wall. Since that two minute and 30 second timeout, he's not hit a good back wall shot. He made an air with it, killing with the fly kill, and then with that amazing left-handed kill. This right is there. the World Championships and USHA four wall nationals from the University of Minnesota. 13-13. It's cool to see Martin go back to that. That's a tough serve. Coming in. A little fist pump there from Keeley. Eight points away from winning a world and another 13, 13. U.S. national title. Killian stays so low on Point. that shot. That's a very tough shot. Most guys, Dave, actually end up lifting up because their feet are set and the ball's so low. But Killian's able to stay 14, down there 13. with it and swing parallel. Oh. <laughs> Killian does, does not like this. Second serve. Oh. Coming in. Just silence here. That double fault. This is a great example 13, of how a referee 14. can just take. I just don't like it. Take the headline away from the player. Tinder. The footfall, Dave, is not like a short serve because the player is then thinking about it. Every time they serve, it affects their serve. 13-14. I remember a couple years ago where I felt like it really affected Paul Brady when the referee started getting on him. Point. Together at 14. Martin Mulkern's not going away. This is a good shot here for Martin. 14-14. I'm so surprised Killian didn't get that ball back. Oh. Oh. Not only a fault, but it hits Martin right square in the, in the face. Martin goes over and gets the handshake from Killy. 11 Front foot point. faults called in this match, Dave. My guard's on. He just got hit square in the face. You have to remember that. I call a foot fault. One agree, one disagree. Second serve. You know, what I want to see is a complete agreement on those football calls, or else don't call it. You shouldn't have a line judge disagreeing. Right. It has to be so obvious. Shot from Killian. He knows he aims for that right corner. Something good is likely to happen. Either the 
front wall, side wall, or straight down the 14, right wall. 14. Either way, it's going to be a good shot. a long rally. Martin looks like he's exhausted Point. at this moment. Martin has not been able to execute those right-handed fly kills up in the front court, just not able to put them away. That's a smart shot from Killing going behind Martin. He recognizes Martin is trying to get back to the middle of the court. Martin taking a lot of time here, tallying up a spot that's not where he technically dove. He's really tired, exhausted. In fact, these guys still have a big semifinals doubles match later today. It was actually scheduled to air in 15, what is it, 40 minutes from now. Mm. And we got a hold of the tournament directors and said, why don't you guys make a change from 1 o'clock local time and push that doubles match to 3 o'clock because there is an opening in the schedule. And they said, you know what? Great idea. We're going to. Mm. And they did. 15, That's why we love them. Great Point. ace serve there from Killian. One of the rare moments Timeout, not called a footfall. <laughs> Dave, talk clip. about this facility. I mean, this is just incredible. This is had breakfast with a couple of guys, said this is handball heaven. You can't get a better spot than this for a tournament. No, I agree. I, I just can't. It's the first time I've, you know, we've been here many times, but it's the first time I've been here where I've said, yeah, this is right. This is the this way is it needs to be set up. I mean, your hotel is... 50 feet from the courts, beautiful hotel. Best show court, I would say, in the world in terms of viewing and also playing. The way they have it set up with these bleachers, which we've never seen before, right. this is really hot. Look at this camera angle that we have here, yeah. which is going out over this live broadcast. I want to thank Jeff Kastner, Omar Limas. They've really worked their asses off this whole week. Yeah. We're on the Internet, so we can say that. Okay. They're really working hard. I want to thank them also, Kill Walt you. and Laura Kastner done so much behind the scenes work not just for you know bringing up a great son and you know teaching him not to cuss and uh, tell lies but also they've been great benefactors <laughs> for the WPH very very lucky to have the Kastners Jean Kastner still do. doing stats like she always has this time holding on to baby joy in her Zoom and play. right 16, arm as she's doing 14. it luckily she knows how to write left handed Back into it in game number two. Coming in. Fourteen, That's a crazy bounce. There's that power back point. again from Martin, and he puts his hands together. And a point for Martin Mulkerns. This match now one hour, nine minutes old. You might say, well, that's not long enough to get tired, but imagine sprinting 15, for one hour, nine yeah. minutes, because that's what these guys have been doing, a full sprint. Between foot faults, in fact. Right. Well, the foot faults the only breaks in the match. It's like getting the water. Point. From the, from, the, 16. from the people that you pass along the way in the park and they hand you those yeah. little <laughs> cups of water, that's the footfall. 16, 16. Together at 16. Oh, oh, 17 now to 16 unless it gets overturned. Feel short, Killian? thought it was short. I call the short. Okay, Martin's appealing the short. I call the ball short. I thought he called that good. One agree, one disagree. Oof. Second serve. Rough for Martin there. Boy, that would have been 17 to 16. I swear I heard the referee say point. Not short. Nice. 
Nice. Smart shot. Point. Seventeen, sixteen. Okay, we're back into it here. Seventeen to sixteen. Great camera work here from Omar Lemus and Matt Titano. Uh -oh. Miss hit from Martin. Doesn't Thank matter. You. Yep, two bounces. Nice call. It was a good call, and you see Martin putting his hands together, but that was a miss hit from Martin. Mm -hmm. That was, that a, was a flub. Up that front. was the first double bounce I've seen a player call that actually 18, was a double bounce. 16. We've seen so many that weren't. 18 to 16 here, just three points away from forcing a tiebreaker. And you can see that Martin's being much more aggressive. Yeah. Nice get. Beautiful pick up there from Martin. And this will make it to the front wall. Crowd's going to erupt there, I believe. And they do as there's a side out. Martin, not really known as a get artist, but Dave, he made some amazing gets in this rally, including that one. The one that he flipped off that back wall Incredible. that came a revolving door was a real tough one to get back. And that's a point as an ace comes at a perfect time here for Killian. That was a kill shot. 17, 18. Big setup. No avoidable. Hinder ball. I thought it took a bad bounce on the door. Well, Martin was on one side of the ball and then on the other side here. Look, you, zero, that should be an avoidable. 18. Can't walk in front of a guy's shot like that. Point. And Together just like that, 18. just like that, Killy has just scored points. Timeout, Martin. Just right when Martin had that nice comeback and run. I truly believed in the middle of this second game that Killian needed to win this second game to win the match because Martin's the fresher player right now. Killian looks like he's almost on fumes. And in just in these last couple of rallies has Killian been able to impose himself and play some offense because Killian was on the run for about five minutes there. Martin dictating everything. Now Killian gets that ace serve to the left, now sets up that last rally to kill with his right. He's tied this game at 18, three points now from the World Championship. Quickly, let's go to Killian, uh, excuse me, let's go to uh, Kara Mack, who's next to Killian, but also next to Luis Cordova. Luis Cordova here, three points away from either of them. Killian taking this as Worlds, Martin taking this into a tiebreaker. What do you think is going through their heads right now? Uh, I don't know, Martin's probably thinking I, I need to get these last three points. He, he definitely wants a tiebreaker, he's playing real well. Um, Killian's probably just looking at the finish line and just trying to get these last three kills in so he can be the world champ. Yeah, we know Killian's really good at pulling it off here with these last three points. What will Martin need to do? What do you see him doing well to pull off? His back wall is really on. He's hitting real hard. Um, I think he just needs to make his shots. I don't know. He's, he's, I mean, they're both playing great. Just keep, keep on doing what he's doing because he caught up to him. All right, we'll let you guys take it away. Thank you. As we step back in here, this is going to be a lot of excitement these last three points, I think. Resuming play. I really felt that Martin had a great chance there to force tiebreaker. Right. Still 18, does, 18. but 18 to 18 makes it much more difficult. Good roof play, though. And Dave, Point. that was one of the few really poor ceiling shots that Martin's hit in this match. And that was an easy one. His right hand, right where he wanted it, has been playing that shot 19, so well. That time 18. just hits a terrible one. Point. Wow. Flat mouse. And here it is. Match point. Serves 18 for Killian Carroll, who's going to slowly walk and take this one in. I believe he's just really gathering himself here for this last final push to get his first world championship title. 2018. Yeah. It, look at that emotion. It was inevitable. 
We knew he would do it eventually, and he does. Killian Carroll wins the world championship title, defeating Martin Mulkerns 21 to 16, 21 to 18, Killian in Carroll, an exciting final. World champion 21. 16, 21, 18. What a great show from Martin Mulkerns, who really tried to stun Killy early in game number one. He was unable to withhold him at 15. They were tied in game one when Killy and Carroll went on to win 21 to 16. And then right after that, pretty much the same thing in game number two. Just a little bit of different plot twist as Killy and Carroll comes in late there. Tied at 18, wins 21 to 18. Killian found a way, Dave, like he always seems to do. It does not matter the score or how the match seems to be going. Killian finds a way to turn the tables late, turns it up, plays a little bit more offense. And down there, Dave, 18 to 16 in game number two, he scores the last five points of the game, including some incredible clutch kill shots. And Killian now owns just about every title you can win in the world of handball. Well, I thought the it was a players championship, four, three straight national championships, the world championship. I thought it was a perfect combination between ceiling shots and being in that ground and pound bottom board shoot style that Martin Mulkerns had. It was a great combination when he had things running for him. He was going up top and then he was waiting for an overhit or a miss hit and he was striking Killian, but Killian just never really let his foot off the pedal. Incredible match right there between two of the best gentlemen in the game, both deserving of this title. Well, for those that hadn't seen Martin play outside of Ireland, Martin has clearly announced himself as the second or third best player in the world. I mean, this guy is absolutely phenomenal, Martin Mulkerns. He can beat anybody on any day. He could have beat Killian today. A couple of shots here and there in both games. Maybe it was a little bit of Killian's experience the ability to raise his game late. But Martin Mulkerns, Dave, incredible. But Killian Carroll's the world champion. They are going to have the trophy presentation as we will also be interviewing Killian after that and during it as we will go courtside once that happens. So we're just waiting on them to go ahead and make that first initial. You saw Killian there, Dave, show that emotion right after he won, but almost instantly. How did you guys like the match? Wasn't that a great match? World Championship. Two great athletes. Unbelievable. Steve Johnson, our tournament host here, making the presentation. Let's go to him. Martin Leckie, thank you for coming. Congratulations on an awesome tournament. Now to our champ, three-time uh, national champ, first-time world champ, Killian. Thank you. First world champion since 2000 coming. I know this is a huge goal for you. What does it mean to you now? Oh, it absolutely means the world. I mean, it's my first world championship, but the world championship isn't everything. It was the field that you know I came through. It was a big turnout, and they all played extremely well. And just to just to compete and um, get through the whole thing is is just amazing. Playing someone who I know that you're close to, you've played with so many years of your life, having your family here. What does that mean? Um, it's definitely. A, a big help having my family and having my girlfriend and having my girlfriend's family here. You know, there's good support. Uh, they look after me well, and it helps me prepare for the next game. So it's 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 a big help. Where is this one going to go? <laughs> the same place as always, on top uh, of the on top of the dresser. Okay, congratulations. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Good job. I like you guys. Dave is a fan of the sport here. You see everybody gathering, taking pictures. How does this make you feel about the game of handball right now, the state of handball? This is such a cool moment. Gives you goosebumps as a, as as a fan to see. And teaming up later in the doubles, Martin McCarran, Colleen Carroll. Look forward to playing, watching you play your doubles match. To see the appreciation, Dave, that both these players so richly deserve. I mean, these guys are outstanding athletes, amazing gentlemen. Just tremendous, Dave, to watch these guys 
in action. What a privilege it was for all the people here and for us to be able to watch this game played at that level. I agree with you. I mean, first off, the energy from this building is just infectious. And I know the players feel it, even though you're inside of a cube in there mm -hmm. and you can't hear anything. Right. You can hear the referee's microphone, and that's it. You can see people putting their hands together, and you can see faces in the stands. But you don't realize, as a player, how many souls have their eyes on you while, while you're in there. And they're either rooting against you or for you, or or they're just here to see something dramatic happen. And some of that drama happened after the match. Both players giving each other hugs. Uh, huge crowds. This is one of the only events I've ever been to where there were, there were onlookers that aren't associated with the sport here. There were friends and family members that have right. never seen the game before. Yeah. We had Killian Carroll's father, who hadn't seen Killian in three years, play the sport of handball. He's watched him on the live broadcast, but he hadn't seen him here locally. And Kara asked him, what is it that you are seeing here that you don't remember seeing in person? And, and, and his father said, I he's in such great shape he's hitting the ball so hard i don't remember seeing this before so we have people for the very first time witnessing things they have never seen even if they are family members so it's really just a cool infectious environment here at the world championships and it's not even over yet you heard the announcement the mumbling from the, the that pa system yeah. that we have ashleen riley i can't wait for those martina matches. mcmahon this could very well be the best matchup of the tournament here coming up next i mean this though to me dave is what it's all about this camaraderie between Killian and Martin and you know these guys go back so many years even though they're only in their mid-20s they have such an amazing respect for one another and for the sport and you heard Killian Dave it wasn't so much the world championship which of course means so much to him but it was the players he beat to win this that's what means so much to him he went through four or five of the top ten players in the world to win this title successively right and that's what it's all about in his opinion you talked to his girlfriend and she'll tell you Killian just wants to play the best if he could play everybody in the field he would and that's how he approaches these these events wow what a match it's almost like you learn the cheat codes on how to play Tetris and you say I'll play anybody uh -huh. you know I, yeah. I know the cheat codes so it doesn't matter who it is you've got that guy over there talking smack bring him in yeah you know oh, and right. most, yeah. See, most people would be would would want to shy away from yeah from those that not those when you have the codes people. though but you got the codes okay I didn't, yeah. Killian has the cheat codes. He knows yeah. how to do it, but he's not cheating. Right. That's the only difference here. He just knows. He has the code. It, he has the code. Yeah. When you've got the code, why not play everybody? It's just. It, it's a universal code. It it's unbelievable. Yeah, it works everywhere you play. Every different city, there's no different layout. Congratulations again to Killian Carroll, who wins with his world championship title, third straight national championship, first world championship singles title. He's now going to be with. Martin Mulkerns and doubles in, yeah. in that open doubles semifinal later this afternoon. We have another great match coming up right around the corner. I want to thank Kara Mack as well as Jeff Kastner, Omar Limas, Matt Titano, Dave Fink, and those helping out with the broadcast. We'll have more continued action right around the corner. Congratulations to Killian Carroll, our champion.